Hi, so as you might have noticed, I just had my silent day, but I, I definitely wanted to have this bit in. So after my silent day, I I usually am I'm very calm as you might notice, but I'm also writing some stuff down and most of the time you might have noticed this or maybe not completely, but I'm actually not doing anything and many people don't believe me when I say I don't do anything, but I'm just sitting there and kind of I don't know how else to describe it, but rather I'm just letting toxins out of my brain and I get really, really calm and tired and then when everything is out, suddenly energy comes back and that's when I know that my silent day is usually over. And what I do is, um, whenever I'm in this spot, uh, there's a really nice hotel here and I think I told you about it, meeting in a luxurious hotel always gives you a good vibe. So I go to this hotel and um, it, it, first of all, it starts my week in a, in a really good vibe, but also it gives me the opportunity to look over everything I scribbled down or thought of during my silent day. And yeah, and I, I get to look over it in a calm way. And then, because I'm in the Netherlands, when the rain finishes usually, I, uh, I can go home and, um, and start my day. And as I wrote in the blog post and my other video where I describe how my salad day goes, I usually uh, start eating first and then I turn all electronics on and start working. In the beginning, it took me, I think, a year of doing a proper salad day until 6 o'clock. Uh, and now, thank God, it's uh, it's only till 12, till 1 sometimes that I need to do a silent day unless it's a very stressful week and then my silent day goes to the normal silent day which is uh, 5 o'clock and then I eat and then 6 o'clock electronics go on. But I hope you enjoy it and maybe you've learned something as well from it.